drifting as J A S M R. Hello, how are you doing? Good. Are you all excited? Yeah. Today we are going to find a Mister Man book to read. Anyone heard about Mister Man? Oh, good. Yes, he's one of my favorite. Yes. <laughs> I hope you do as well. Okay. So, please all sit comfortably. Yeah, just around me. Mm -hmm. Good. And the rule is, we need to keep quiet. Right. I have. Lots of Mister Man books. Yes. Oh wow! You have all the collections. Mm -hmm. Lucky you. Yes, these are up for borrowing as well. If you like any of those, you can go through and speak to your parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So today I am picking this one. This is not one of the original ones, but it's fun. It's Mr. Man in London. Anyone up for it? Good. Right. So shall we begin? Hmm. Shh. I'm going to start reading. Okay, Mr. Man in London. Look at the picture. Where do you think Mr. Busy is? Yes, he is in London Underground. Well done. Mr. Busy decided to take all his friends on a trip to London. Everyone was very excited. They could not wait to see the sights. Mr. Topsy Turvy looked at the tube map to see where they were going to go. There you go, Mr. Opti. However, Mr. Opti, being the Opti fellow he is, refused to go on the underground. Mr. Opti likes to travel alone, so he hired a private car to shuffle him round London. Which was rather rude of him, but then he is the rudest man in the world. Mr. Busy was far too busy to notice. He and his friends got off the tube at Covent Garden. And they began their tour with a visit to the London Transport Museum. They saw loads of buses and trains. There were old ones and new ones. Little Miss Naughty had fun on a bus. Too too. Poor Mr. Jelly. After the museum, everyone got back on tube to travel to Buckingham Palace. Little Miss Splendid wanted to see if her house 
was as splendid as the Queen's. Mr. Tall really is very tall. Mr. Tall's leg. <laughs> oh, I know. The book was published before our late Queen passed away. Sad, isn't it? But we got a king now. Buckingham Palace was very grand. Much grander than little Miss Splendid's house. Mr. Small joined in the changing of God. Mr. Small really is very small. There he is. Can you all see? Good. Then back down to the underground. They all went and Mr. Muddle got very muddled on the escalators. He got his up muddled up with his down. Or is that his down muddled down with his up? Oh, what a muddle. They got off the tube at Leicester Square. Little Miss Giggles loved all the theatres and bright lights. Mr Noisy liked lions in Trafalgar Square. He's as loud as a lion. Then suddenly Mr Busy ran across the square. Look out, Mr. Bump, cried Mr. Busy, but it was too late. Mr. Bump had fallen into a fountain. Splash! Oh dear. Let's double take a bus. On the bus to the House of Parliament, Mr. Tickle could not resist a tickle. Or two, or three. And the mischief did not stop there. There are his hands. Can anybody see his body? Yes, he's up there. He's got long arms. Anyone been there? Yeah. At Big Ben, Mr. Mischief climbed out onto the clock face and changed the time. Tee <laughs> he chuckled mischiefly to himself. Naughty. And Mr. Beasy, looking up at the clock, thought they were running late. Quick, quick, he called. Everyone on the boat, hurry up, Mr. Slow. Mr. Slow being really slow. Here we go. They sailed down the river Thames and on the Tower Bridge. What is that? asked Little Miss Splendid, looking up into the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, said Mr. Beasy. It's Mr. Bounce. Just look how high Mr. Bounce can bounce. Finally, they reached the Tower of London. Mr. Topsy-Turvy did 
did not get off onto the quay, but he did get off the boat. Splash! Oh dear! Poor Mr. Topsy Turvy. They had a fascinating tour of the Tower of London. Mr. Strong liked the suits of her more. Everyone was very impressed. Everyone, except for little Miss Splendid. She did not feel quite so splendid after seeing the crown jewels. Wow! Look at this. Ah. Oh. And then it was time to go home. Mr. Beasy and his friends. Caught the bus. It had been a long, Mr. Busy, busy sort of day, and everyone was very tired, but very happy. Well, not quite everyone. Everyone except Mr. Upty, who had spent the day. Guess what happened? That's right. Fixing a puncture. The end. Did everyone enjoy it? Good. Right, I'm going to ask you a, a few questions. See if everyone was listening. So, who looked at the tube map when the Mister Man arrived in London? And anybody know? Okay, you over there. Well done. Sit down now, please. Two more questions. Which museum did they visit? Uh huh. Um. Shh. Let me pick one. Okay. So you over here. A bit louder. Yes. London Transport Museum. Well done. So, how did Mister Man get home? Did they take a train? Did they take a bus or the underground? So, the last one, everyone answered together. Great, the bus. Well done, everyone. Right. So, I hope you all enjoyed today's session. I'd like to say thank you to all of you. You have all behaved really well, kept really quiet, and interactive when needed. I can see you all listening, because you answered the questions all correctly. Great! I'm glad you enjoyed it. Right now, you can stand up and look for your parents. I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, there will be different books to read next time. Yeah, see you again. Bye.